Our Wildcat football coverage on KCOY is brought to you in part by Central Valley Ag, Hanover Electric, Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, Ray's Apple Market, Twin Valley Telephone and Communications, Pony Express Service Center, Citizen State Bank of Hanover, Waterville, and Marysville, Blooms and Beyond in Hanover, and by Oldie Seed Farms. Well, good evening from the frozen tundra of Osborne, Kansas. Phil Casper joining you with Hanover Wildcats football. Just a game away from that state title game in Newton, but the Osborne Bulldogs stand in their way, and this should be, uh, I think entertaining is maybe an understatement. This should be a great game between two schools that know each other very, very well. Either has has been tested uh, in the playoffs. We'll look at uh, some scoring, very identical right now in the scoring. Uh, Hanover will start with them, 648 points offensively on the year to 136 they've allowed over 11 games, averaging almost uh, 59 points a game, allowing just 12. On the other side, Osborne comes in with 568 total. That's just over 51 points a game, allowing just over 23. They've allowed 254. Now, last week, it was uh, Osborne all over Meredith Valley, 58 to 10 in a game that ended in halftime. And, of course, the game you heard right here on KCLY, Hanover and Udall, 62 to 14. That was a game that was 28-14 at the end of the first quarter and then uh, Hanover able to just blow it up and uh, ended about two minutes in to the third quarter. Again, just about ten minutes away from kickoff. We'll look at some stats and uh, some players to watch. We come back to Osborne right after this. At Central Valley Ag, we're growing agriculture together. With multiple locations across Nebraska and Kansas, CVA is uniquely positioned to offer producers access to export, processing, and feeder markets for grain. Central Valley Ag is committed to adding value to producers' grain bids by serving as their connection to end users. CVA is also dedicated to providing innovative solutions in the development of a long-term strategy to help each grower achieve consistent profitability. Stop by Central Valley Ag today. Learn more about how we're growing agriculture together. It's game time at the Built Ford Tough Sales Event. Going on now at Hanson Ford and Clay Center. It's time to save big on Ford F-Series, the best-selling trucks around and number one in America for 37 straight years. Get huge cash rebates and super low financing offers. You'll score big on quality, selection, and value during the Built Ford Tough Sales Event. Every Ford truck is made to tackle the toughest jobs while still letting you cruise in style and comfort. Take it in for a touchdown of savings at Hanson Ford and Clay Center. Rake in the savings and leave your worries behind with Twin Valley's ultra high speed internet. Sign up for phone, digital TV, high speed internet, and receive your first three months of internet free. This offer is only available for a limited time. Twin Valley services outperform the competition and it's easy to switch over. Call our office and speak with a customer service rep to find out how you can get Twin Valley for all your communication and entertainment needs. 800 515 3311. Remember the mess you had in your fields this year because of all those weeds? Wonder how much yield you missed out on because of those blasted weeds. But not next year, no way. You're going to pay a visit to the guys at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Get a jump on that nasty weed problem now with a tailor-made solution for crop protection and nutrition from Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Come next spring, you'll be ahead of the game. See Brent, Allen, Darren, Kent, or Mike Green at Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. National Anthem is underway here at Osborne. We'll bring you back for football right after this. Make someone's day with a greeting card from Patterson Health Mart. Whether you want to wish them a happy birthday, express sorrow of a loss, celebrate an anniversary, or congratulate the new parents, you'll find just the right card at Patterson Health Mart. Their selection has funny, sentimental, and religious cards for every occasion, or no occasion at all. Single cards are 99 cents or $1.99 each. Stock up for all the special moments for those that are special to you at Patterson Health Mart in Clay Center. Sometimes in life, we think bigger is better. Right, Roscoe? Right. But sometimes, smaller can be better, like when you shop your small local businesses. And I'm going to demonstrate this in some wacky way, right? No, we're just going to invite everyone to Central Office Supplies Open House November 21 and 22 during the CCBA Shop Small promotion. We'll offer 40% off list prices on furniture for those two days and 25% off all gift items. Really? That's it? Plus, I'm going to give you a raise. Really? Yes, and remember, smaller can be better. Welcome back to Osborne, Kansas. Phil Casper along with our studio engineer. 
engineer tonight, Chase Elliott. Let's look at these Osborne Bulldogs, very familiar to Coach Matt Hoyer and his Hanover Wildcats and all those around the Twin Valley League, coached by Steve Tiernan. Great career at B&B and a great career so far here at Osborne as well. Now, uh, Coach Tiernan well publicized a tragic motorcycle accident in uh, August. He's recovered well, been on the sideline much of the season and assisted by uh, assistant coach Colin Reiner in that head coach capacity. But uh, Coach Steve Tiernan uh, did get a chance to uh, see him for just briefly uh, in pregame warm-up. Looks great, uh, just like his normal self. So uh, great to hear about Coach Steve Tiernan and his recovery. Now, Osborne led by Jake Tiernan, the junior he can light it up 74% through the air. That is what Osborne wants to do, and they will do it often. Kiernan, uh 2,000 yards on the season, 32 touchdowns to just seven picks. Now, keep in mind, three of those seven interceptions were in the second half against Hanover just 16 days ago in a game that Hanover was up 28-26 at halftime. Those three interceptions by Kiernan turned into three touchdowns for Hanover. Hanover did win that game. 54-26. Tiernan's favorite receiver is Brad Walters. He's got 67 receptions, almost 1,000 yards and 17 touchdowns. Uh, Colin Graybath, uh, the running back, 1,019 rushing yards, 23 TDs, along with 500 receiving yards. Now, on the other side for Hanover, they looked very, very good uh, last week in their win against Udall. Is Andrew Bruna lighting it up once again. Uh, he's rushed for eight touchdowns. He's passed for six more scores and really never challenged by Udall. That was a team that came in at 10-0 to Hanover looking to make some noise. They did. They went up 8 nothing again, 28-14 after the second quarter, and then all Hanover after that. They win that game 62-14. to Still in warm-ups. Bob's are not yet on the field. Hanover on the field. They'll be in their white jerseys, blue pants tonight. Osborne now taking the field, all maroon, trimmed in gold. Again, just about five minutes from kickoff here in Osborne. We'll bring you back right after this. Farmway Co-op, your partner in growth. For fall burn down plus long-lasting residue control of tough winter and summer annuals, turn to your Farmway Co-op agronomy team for assistance. By applying an insecticide on alfalfa now, it reduces alfalfa weevil pressure in your fields for better spring control. The time is now. Get a head start in making your fields reach a higher potential. Fall treatments work better. Contact your Farmway Co-op team today. Things are changing at Ray's Apple Market, and it's for the better. You may have already noticed an updated meat case to hold the premium selection, a new display case for the cold cuts, and new packaging in the deli section. There are new coolers and freezers with plenty more improvements coming to give customers the best grocery shopping experience. Ray's Apple Market is thankful for their customers and looks forward to the changes with more selection, quality, and service. Ray's Apple Market. This is your town and your store. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Thanks to a new Oldie soil-specific seed online service, your Oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field prescription. Customize every acre with the highest potential hybrid based on soil types, straight package needs, disease threats, and agronomic preferences. Valuable data can also be shared with trusted suppliers. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Bruna Implement Company knows Case IH Innovations do more than solve everyday problems. They maximize output while saving your operation money. That's why they continue to offer proven, efficient, and reliable solutions. Be ready with Case IH Innovations like the Axial Flow Rotor, Quad Track Technology, Advanced Farming Systems, and an SCR only emission solution. Because it's not an innovation until it changes your bottom line. For the best in farming equipment, visit Bruna Implement Company at any of their five locations. Just a couple of minutes before we get underway here in Osborne. Both teams have taken to the sidelines. Captain's getting set to meet at midfield. Again, second meeting for these two teams. Met just a couple of weeks ago in Hanover at the season finale, a game that saw Hanover come out on top. Again, we'll try to keep you up on some other games as well. Axel in action. They kicked off at six in Argonia, uh, located just to the south of Wichita. Have not seen a score on that yet. Also, Concordia getting set to kick off. They will take on Andale. Gary Strait will keep us up to date on that as the Panthers get into uh, the second round and another home game as well for the Concordia Panthers, this time 
with Andale. Again, we'll try to keep you up on that Axel game. Have not seen a score uh, as of yet, but uh, doing a little check and see if I can find it real quick and uh, has, still haven't seen that yet. So keep you up on that Axel game as well here. Just about two minutes out. We'll bring you back to Osborne for kickoff right after this. Choosing vinyl siding as an exterior finish for your home has several benefits. Vinyl siding offers durability, decreased maintenance, a neat and clean look and feel, and an affordable solution for exterior finishes. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement continues to serve north central Kansas with crane board, fiber cement, and steel siding solutions for your home or business with conventional or foam back siding. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement will help transform the look of your home. Are your vehicle's tires ready for winter? Head to the Pony Express Service Center located on Highway 36 south of Hanover for a new set of tires to give you a better grip on the road. Their services include a full line of tires, gasoline, and diesel fuel. And the Pony Express Service Center will deliver their fuel to your farm or business. Have their mechanics check your battery, antifreeze, wiper blades, and lights. The folks at the Pony Express Service Center are strong supporters of the Hanover Wildcats. Back at Osborne, captain's meeting at midfield. Again, great crowd on both sides. Stands full for the home team Osborne Bulldogs. The coin flip has been tossed. Osborne wins. They will defer. And looks like Hanover will receive. And they will defend the west end of the field. Again, the field east and west here in Osborne. Great crowd for Hanover. I would expect nothing less. Again, now captain shake hands at midfield. That is the 40-yard line. I was reminded on my way out. No 50 against eight-man football. I believe I had a slip-up on that last week, and I appreciate the reminder. The captain's off the field. Team's huddled up, ready to go. Hanover will receive first, and we are just about ready to get underway. Second quarter score from Argonia. Axel 16 and Argonia 14. Again, that is a second quarter score. Four. and we'll continue to try to keep you up on Concordia and Andale. They're getting set to kick off in Concordia. Gary Strait will keep us up on that. And set to go here. Kicking off will be Grant Walters for the Bulldogs. Back deep to receive Matthew White, the 150-pound junior for the Hanover Wildcats. We are set to go. Ball is placed. Walter signal he's ready. Official whistle. And we are set to go. Walters approaches the ball, kicks off high end over end. It's going to drive White back to the goal line, and he's going to have to stop right there as he did drive him back in to the end zone. So Hanover will try to get things underway here. Again, a high-scoring Hanover offense averaging almost 59 points a game, allowing just 12. Andrew Bruno, the senior quarterback, he has been huge for Hanover this year. Very sure of himself, very confident. Gets you the backfield set. They'll split one right. Bruno under center. Hand off. No, he's going to keep it set, and that is up by the Osborne Bulldogs, not fooled at all as he faked the handoff to Austin Diedrich and Hanover didn't buy it. So they'll give him a yard, second nine. The defense that time by Osborne, not fooled. His handoff actually fake to Juneman. Now Juneman and Ringstorff stack double tight. Option right side pitch to Juneman, and Juneman is going to be eaten up after about a yard gain. Again, good defense by Hanover, and Bruna took a shot. Andrew Bruna really took a shot on that option. He's up quickly. This is what you would expect from Steve Kiernan, coach team, after watching the B&B Falcon team of a few years ago. Great defense, third five now for Hanover. Bruna has a lone back. Cody Rangsdorf is a lone back. Now Bruno will go shotgun. Two split. One right, one left. 
That's Juneman and Nicholson. Pass is going to be a screen pass to Nicholson. He's got a little room down the sideline, and he may be gone. He's down to the 30, being chased to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, and he is going to be out of bounds. They're going to mark him out of bounds at about the four-yard line, and what a nice-looking play by Hanover. And really just overplayed that time by Osborne. Again, a swarming defense for the Bulldogs. And Hunter Nicholson got past one defender, and there was nobody there. So Hunter Nicholson picks up about 45 yards, and they are in Osborne territory at the four. Ringsdorf, Juneman, back, double tight. And off right side, Ringsdorf, and he's going to pull his way ahead, and he is just short. They're going to mark him. Looks about about the one of second down. Cody Ringsdorf, 180-pound senior. Where's number 50 for a reason? Lines up at that fullback position in front of Juniper. Juniper is six foot, 180-pound senior as well. Double tight, eye formation. Bruno's going to keep it himself, and he is going to be held short. In fact, he may have he may have lost the yard that time. Good defense by the Osborne Bulldogs. Third down, no gain. Bruno thought he saw a little something. He may have checked off of that himself. And nothing there. Third goal. Now they'll send Juneman wide right. Nicholson left. Ringsdorf the lone back. Bruna under center. Snap to Bruna. He's going to try it again. And this time he will get in. And that is a handover touchdown. Andrew Bruna went back to the same play. And he did see a little bit of something. Went back to that same play. And handover with the early. 6-0 lead. Now they'll line up for the two-point conversion. Ringsdorf back in. Hanover huddles up, leading 6-0. That screen pass to Nicholson sets this up. Shotgun formation for Bruna. Ringsdorf lines up to his left. Nicholson wide left. Juneman wide right. Snap. Option left. Pitch to Ringsdorf. He shows pass and dives in for the two-point conversion. And Hanover takes an early 8 Nothing lead. 924 left in the first. Hanover's gone on top. 8 nothing. We'll bring you back to Osborne right after this. Blooms and Beyond in downtown Hanover supports the Hanover Wildcats. As you might suppose, the Blooms include fresh arrangements, silks, and green plants. And the Beyond includes sports collectibles such as football photo frames, license plates, gifts for hunting enthusiasts, perpetual calendars, candles by Sugar Shack, and holiday home decor by Honey and Me. You'll get loads of inspiration for your home holiday decorating when you shop at Blooms and Beyond in downtown Hanover. From birth and routine checkups to emergency care and rehab services, the Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic is a place where residents experience a lifetime of health care. It's a small community hospital that takes pride in who they are and those they serve. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic also supports the Hanover Wildcats in all their academic and athletic endeavors. They encourage everyone to cheer on the student-athletes in the classroom, on the court, on the field, and in the community. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic are proud fans of the Hanover Wildcats. At SAP Brothers, they pride themselves on the high level of service they provide and their ability to meet their customers' special feeling. No worry. Back at Hanover, high end over end kick from Juneman is going to be taken by the Osborne Bulldogs. Dent sure. It's a freshman for Osborne. 40 pound freshman, and here comes Jake Karen, and they'll try to answer. Hanover up 8 0 on that opening drive. First couple of plays. Osborne really stuffed Hanover some good defense, and then a little screen pass to Hunter Nicholson for about 50 yards, and Hanover gets first and goal with the one quick play from Tiernan. Handle off left side. That is going to be, I believe, that's Gray Bath. And it is the sophomore. He'll pick up a couple. Again, Axel, 16, Argonia, 14 at last check. Concordia underway with Andale, and Andale has gone up 7 nothing. That game just underway. 
the second eight. As Auburn huddles up in far side of the field, I think that tackle that time was made by uh, Zabatrisky. Karen goes shotgun, and now a flag is going to be called. That's a delay on Osborne. The delay a game. They were in the huddle a long time. Jake Tiernan, 77% completion rate, 30-plus touchdowns versus seven picks, three of those interceptions by the Hanover Wildcats. So now second and about 13 after that delay of game. Tiernan will bring his team to the line, double split. Empty backfield, Tiernan in the shotgun quickly. Gets it once a pass, now he's going to run, and he's got a little room and a great open field tackle that time by Zabatristi or Tiernan is going to go away. He is going to pick up five yards, but Zabatristi diving at the ankles of Tiernan brings him down third ten. Nice play that time by Evan Zabatristi. Another interesting score in 3A, Rossville 56, Pittsburgh Colgan 19. Spot formation, single back, Tiernan under center. Drops back, screen pass right side. And a little room to run was Denton Sure, and the freshman can't hang on to the ball. So, looks like it'll be a three and out. For Osborne, fourth and ten at about the 15. They're going to have to punt this ball. Gray Losey will go back deep for the Wildcat. 140-pound junior Tiernan also punts, so you do have to watch that. Drops the ball. He is going to get it off, but it's not a great punt. He aims for the sideline. That's going to go out of bounds at about midfield. He was lucky to get that off. And not a bad punt for dropping the snap. And Osborne just with some issues in that first series. So Hanover is going to really be set at about the 39-yard line. They'll spot it just short of midfield. 7.49 left in the first. And Hanover's up 8 nothing and be in good field position again. Now an official, official time. <laughs> official dropped his flag and Jake Tiernan is standing in his safety position saying this doesn't belong to me. So now Bruna under center, double tight. Juneman in the right wing. Pitch right to Rangstorf. He's going to throw, looking, throws back across the field. He's got Bruna and Bruna is going to make a diving catch on the opposite side of the field at about the 20 and there is a flag in Hanover's backfield. And that is probably going to be a hold, is my guess, and it is. So a holding call is going to wipe out a halfback pass by Cody Ringsdorf that went for about 20 yards, and instead Hanover is going to have to back up and do it again. Hanover really pulling out all the stops. Coach Matt Hoyer had said he was sure that Coach Steve Tiernan didn't show everything he had in that last game. I'm bet the same thing on Coach Matt Hoyer. So now first and about 23, this ball is going to be spotted back at the 25. Bruna under center. Fakes it. Now turns right. Fakes to Ringsdorf. He's still on his feet, and Bruna's got a little bit of room. He's caught from behind, and Andrew Bruna is down. He picked up about 14 yards, and he, he's up. And I think that's win. I think Andrew Bruner just got the win knocked out of him. Ooh, that's a, that is a collective big side from Hanover. Andrew Bruner slow to get up. I really think that is just win. He's got his hand on his side and bent over, and now he's up. And looks like he's okay. That's going to bring in Will Bruner. At that quarterback position, he's going to go uh, split set, two right, one left. Lone backfield, screen pass for Nicholson is going to be overthrown, and that's a hard thing to do. So Bruno's got to come in off the bench. He's cold. 
or tries that screen. Now that'll be third down. Andrew Bruni is coming back in. And I really believe that was just the win. Seven and a half left in the first. Hanover up eight nothing. Third and about seven. So Andrew Bruno back in the shotgun. Ringsdorf left. Nicholson split left. Juneman right. Snap to Bruna, drops back, looking to throw, looking deep, and he's got time. The line's doing a great job. Now he finds a man, that's Juneman. He's going to pick up the first down and maybe about a yard more. Nice job that time by the Hanover offensive line. Frisky, David Trisky up there. Jade Bruna. Nice job. Andrew Bruna had all kinds of time. That'll take him out to about 30 of Osborne, first and 10. That offensive line doing a great job holding Osborne out, giving Bruna time. Same set. Bruna in the gun. By Osborne is going to jump off sides. They may, of course, Osborne's pointing at Hanover's offensive line, and they are going to say false start Hanover. So that'll back them up about five yards. It's probably right. It did look like there was a little bit of movement on the left side of that line, so that'll back them up five, put them back at the 35, first and 15. Again, last check, Axel up 16-14 in the second quarter on Argonia. Concordia just underway was down to Andale 7 nothing. Now Bruno will go under center. Ringsdorf, the lone back, slot right formation. Bruno wants to pass, drops back, finds Juneman, and he'll pick up the penalty yard. It's back, and that's about it. They'll bring up second ten. Now they'll give him, they'll give him six, so second nine. Seven eighteen left in the first, eight nothing. Hanover with the lead. Wildcats break huddle. Two split. Juneman right. Nicholson left. Shotgun Bruna. Ringsdorf lines up to his left. Bruna option. Now he's going to go to Ringsdorf. A little pitcher. Ringsdorf a little bit of room. He's going to be swallowed up by Tiernan after about a four, maybe five yard gain. A little swing pass that time. Looked like an option. And I think either Ringsdorf or Bruna just got out of position so really had to do a little swing pass. If you get six yards, that'll bring up third and four. Or five yards, rather, third and four. Bruno back under center. Nicholson splits right. Juneman in the right wing. Ringsdorf alone back. Option right. Pitch to Ringsdorf. He's got a little bit of room. Bruno take it down hard again. Ringsdorf down the right sideline. He may be in, and he is going to be in for the Hanover touchdown. And what a nice play by Andrew Bruna. And I'm telling you what, Andrew Bruna is running this option, and he is getting pounded when he pitches. There is one player on the Osborne Bulldogs, and I believe he has been assigned Andrew Bruna. That's Matt Pannonfield. And he's been assigned Andrew Bruna, and he's doing a very good job with him. The problem is Bruna is just a little better. Getting rid of that football at the right time, and Hanover's gone up 14 nothing. So now I formation under center. Bruna rolls right, looking to throw back in the end zone. All by himself is Evan Zabatrisky. 6.32 left in the first. Hanover's gone up 14 nothing. We'll bring you back to Osborne right after this. At Sapp Brothers, they pride themselves on the high level of service they provide and their ability to meet their customers' special fueling needs. From bulk gasoline and diesel to propane and oil delivery, Sapp Brothers is a fuel source to residents and businesses alike in Marshall and Washington counties. They can deliver a variety of bulk fuels to where you need it, at your home or out in the field. Contact them for a competitive fuel quote. Call their Hanover office at 337-2446. In today's economy, you need a banking partner that understands agriculture, that can help you make the big decisions a little bit easier. From getting the right equipment to even the seed you need to plant your fields, 
In this part of the country, agriculture is more than just a job, it's a way of life. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover, member FDIC. We're just making a Two left in the first. Hanover's gone up 14 nothing on Osborne. Juniman set to kick off this time. We'll put another back deep. I'll have Denton Schur and Colin Graybass back with him. Official. Not sure what the problem is. Back. Actually, that's a white hat. Back between the two receivers, and he's got an issue. Now he's ready. Juniman set to kick off. High end over end. Sure will have a chance to take it. Looking towards the middle of the field. He's got a little daylight. Sure out here. The 30 and he will fall across the 30. Dent to sure. 140 pound freshman for these Bulldogs. A little bit of daylight. But swallowed up pretty, pretty quick. Just as quick as that opened up, Austin Dietrich closed it again. So Osborne with the football at about the 32, first and 10. Tiernan in the gun, motion. Graybass fakes handoff. Tiernan's going to keep it. Spins off one tackler out across midfield to about the 39. Cody Ringsdorf with the tackle. So Osborne into Hanover territory for the first time. After that rough start on their first series. A little better start this time. Second now and a yard. Gain of about nine by Tiernan. Quickly under center. You don't waste a lot of time. Sure now will pick up about two, maybe three, enough for the first down. Tiernan gets his offense to the line. Looks right, looks left, and goes. He doesn't waste a lot of time. Junior's a pretty good quarterback, and that may be an understatement. Under center, handoff to sure, and he's going to be met hard at the line of scrimmage. And guess who? That's Ringsdorf once again. Ringsdorf in there. We'll give Diedrich a little credit on that one as well. Austin Diedrich, Cody Ringsdorf, both seniors. 16 nothing Hanover with the lead with 5.15 left in the first. High formation for Osborne. Double tight. Tiernan rolls back. A little time. He's got a man downfield. Oh, wow, what a play. That's Grant Walters. That's his favorite receiver. And Walters will pick up about 14 yards near the Hanover 20. Hunter Nicholson was pretty good coverage that time, but Walters and Tiernan really have a good combination couple thousand yards to the air for Tiernan, and a thousand of those are to Walters. Shotgun, Tiernan, he's going to hand off around the right side. That's Colin Graybath. He's got a little room down the sidelines, and he's going to be in for an Osborne touchdown. Diving tackle attempt that time by Adam Zorbendicki, but just could not get there. Nice play that time. They sent Graybath in motion about every other play. And this time, they time it right, and Tiernan hands to him. And I said, that's a read by Tiernan. And a good read that time for an Osborne touchdown. Now, they'll line up to go for two, double split. Actually, it's a slot right, empty backfield. Tiernan rolls right, looking to throw, and he's got a man. Did he make it? Yes, he did. Boy, what a catch that time by Parker Walters, the senior. And it's a 16 ball game. 4.42 left and a release. 16.8 will bring you back to Osborne right after this. Running your business is a challenge. Getting insurance shouldn't be. I'm Dave Savage with Blue Valley Insurance, and we know you have many decisions to make every day. You don't need to be tied up worrying about business and commercial auto insurance. We can insure your company vehicle or fleet easily. We have the right coverage for your company, giving you the protection you need. Visit Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenlee, Hanover, and Marysville for your business and commercial auto coverage. 
When it's time to get cattle in the stock fields, you'll need the right fences to keep them there. Valley Vet Supply has a great selection of solar power and plug-in fencers, insulators, poly wire, and all the accessories. The various fence systems, including Parmac and Zariba, are economical, easy to install and maintain, offers better control and great prices. Check them out online, valleyvet.com or in Marysville. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 8, Saturday, 8 to 6, and Sunday, 1230 to 5. 442 left in the first 16-8 ball game after that drive by the Osborne Bulldogs. Brant Walters gets set to kick. Matthew White back deep for the Wildcat. Kick from Walters high end over end. That's going to drive White back into the end zone again. He stepped into the end zone. and Boy, the official let it go, but that's... It turns out okay for Osborne. White clearly, clearly a yard deep in the end zone. And it did work out in Osborne's favor, but with a white hat back looking right at him, that is going to put Hanover at the 10-yard line. And a great kick by Brant Walters once again. 14 nothing now, Andale over Concordia. 16-14, Axel was up on Argonia at last check. I formation, Ringsdorf in, Juneman, option right, pitch to Juneman, led by Ringsdorf. Juneman about on the right side and a great block. That time will get you a number of that block, and that may, that may have been Ringsdorf, I believe, that opened that up, and Juneman is going to pick up about 19 yards. Out near the 30, they'll mark him at the 29th, first and 10. I got caught up in that block. It was an outstanding block to steal that and open up that far sideline for Juneman. The first and 10 now, Hanover. At the 29, Bruna under center, slot right. Option right, and he is going to be hammered. Bruna didn't even get the snap. And that's Matt Fantasteel again. I think Fantasteel has Andrew Bruna. That is his only job tonight. If Hanover's going to lose the yard, that'll be second 11. And I mean, Andrew Bruna did a great job just to hang on to that snap. I didn't think he had it. Boy, Fantasteel did a great job that time of timing that. Get Hanover now, second 11. And now, timeout is going to be called on the field, and Hanover wants to talk about it. 3.34 left in the first, 16-8. Hanover with the lead when we come back. A job worth doing is worth doing right. The crew at Orville Juneman Dozer Service and Or Al Quarries of Hanover is hardworking and can complete a variety of jobs for your residential or commercial projects and your farm and ranch needs. From site prep work and conservation work to building and repairing waterways, terraces, and ponds, Orville Juneman Dozer Service takes pride in their quality workmanship. They also have ag lime and road rock of all sizes for special projects. Give them a call at 337-2482. Well, Hanover out of the timeout. A couple of scores. Axel is trailing Argonia now, 34-22. Appreciate Jeff Wirtz keeping us up on that. And Gary Strait in Concordia. Concordia now down 21 nothing to Andale. Here's 16-8, second 11 for Hanover out of the timeout. There's their own 20, well, 28. 334 left in the first. It's 16 8. Hanover lead. Bruna under center. Option right. They're going to try the same thing to Juneman, and this time it ain't happening. Good defense by Osborne that time, but Juniman's going to lose about three. So Hanover now is something they're not used to a third long. Third, 13. Now Bruno will empty the backfield. He'll stack three to the right, or to the left, rather. In the gun. Snap to Bruno. Looking across the middle, he's got Ringsdorf. Ringsdorf fighting for that first down, gets away. And now a flag is going to be thrown on the play. We'll see what that is. 
as Preston Juneman and Parks Walters got tangled up. Now, as it stands right now, that's a first down for Hanover, but there is a flag on the play. And that is going to be an illegal block by Hanover. So it is a spot foul. So that is going to back Hanover up to the 31. So they were repeat third down, but instead of third and 13, they'll have third and nine. Two thirty-eight left. It's sixteen eight. Hanover with the lead. Three receivers right, one left. Bruna in the shotgun. Looking. Has Nicholson screen pass. They scored on this earlier in a little room again, and Hanover's gonna get a first down. Nicholson again. They've had some luck with that screen pass. Nicholson again. Gets himself out. Across midfield, they're going to spot that at about the 34 of Osborne. So, a new set of downs for Hanover. In Concordia trailing in, Dale 21 0. Axel has fallen behind Argonia 34 22. I formation, double tight under center, option right, pitch to Juneman looking for some room, and he's going to fall forward for about a five-yard gain, and Van Panasteel had a hold of him in the backfield again, but just good, strong running that time by Preston Juneman. So they'll mark him about four-yard gain, second six. Ball spotted right at the 30 of Osborne. Hanover leads 16-8 with a minute and a half left in the first. Bruna under center. Ringsdorf, the lone back. Wing right is Juneman. Back to pass is Bruna looking deep, and he had Diedrich, but just overthrew him. Diedrich's looking for a flag, and he ain't going to get it. That's pretty good coverage by Jake Tiernan. And he had a step on Tiernan, but Bruna just overthrew Austin Diedrich. So brings up third and six. Minute 18 left in the first. 16-8 Hanover. Third and six. Shotgun formation. Ringsdorf back on the right. Nicholson left. Juneman right. Now Ringsdorf is going to go in motion too early. Coach Matt Hoyer, as you can probably guess, not at all happy. So that's going to back Hanover up. So now about third and ten. Ball spotted right at the 35. Shotgun formation. They'll go the same look, but they'll put Ringsdorf on the left this time. Snap to Bruno, looking deep, nearly had him. Now he finds Diedrich. Diedrich's down. He's got a knee down, and they do call him. I'll tell you what, Bruno did a good job just to get away that time from Brand Walters up in his face, able to get that pass off. But they're going to be about four yards short of the first. The so ball is spotted at the 28th, fourth and four. Clock continues to tick, 45 seconds. Andrew Bruna in with the play. And we're up 16-8. Fourth and four, under center. Is Bruna, Ringsdorf, lone back. Split right, Juneman, option, Ringsdorf, and he's got some room around the right end again. He's got enough for the first and four. And now driven out of bounds, and now a penalty flag. Boy, that is just totally unnecessary. Boy, right in front of the Hanover crowd, and I mean three flags flew, and that'll get you ejected if you're not careful. Frustration already setting in for Osborne, and that's not a good thing. 
Coach Chief Carradine is livid. So Ringsdorf driven out of bounds about five yards and thrown to the ground. That's going to tack on. That's going to take him really, really close. It'll be half the distance. So puts him about at the six-yard line of Osborne and a new set of downs. A nice play by Hanover on that option, and they've had some success around that right end. Now, Fan is still playing right end, and he's crashing. And Hanover's starting to exploit that a little bit because he's crashing on Bruna every time. So first and goal now from the six. Under center goes Bruna, high formation. Ringsdorf in, Juneman, handoff to Ringsdorf, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage, and that is no easy task. As Landon Lackey drives Ringsdorf back, but he will gain maybe one. And I think they'll say no gain that time, and that is going to end the first quarter. Hanover up 16-8, one quarter in the books. Hanover driving when we come back. Farmers Cooperative Hanover take this opportunity to extend their good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. See the Farmers Cooperative for a full line of products and services. From fuel to feed, agronomy to tires, and grain to lubricants, they have it all. Their goal is to make your operation more profitable. Farmers Cooperative with added locations now in Herkimer, Marysville, and Bremen. Farmers Cooperative, investing in our owner's success. And investing in our youth. What the heck is a firewall? What's the difference between SD and HD TV? How much data should I have on my cell phone plan? How do I hook my tablet up to the internet? Where do all these cords for my new computer go? For answers to all your burning questions, look to your local telecommunications provider, Blue Valley Telecommunications, providing phone, internet, TV, cellular, and so much more. Now offering IT support and consulting for your business. Start of the second quarter, Hanover with the lead, 16-8. And they're going to have second and goal at the six. And after that penalty, out of bounds after Hanover had picked up the first. Sends them half the distance, but now second six. Ringsdorf met hard at the line of scrimmage on that first and goal. Second goal from the six. Blown back is Ringsdorf under center, Bruna. They'll try it again with Ringsdorf at the same result. Maybe. Now they'll say, actually, they're going to give him a yard loss. Shane Hendrickson, 200-pound senior for Osborne. And it's third and goal from the six. They'll say no gain on that last play. I formation, Nicholson splits left, brings door fullback, Juneman at the tail. Option left side to Juneman. Good block that time by Ringsdorf. Juneman dives into the end zone for a handover touchdown, and that is on Cody Ringsdorf again. Ringsdorf, the lead back on that, seals off that end, and that time it was a collision. And Preston Juneman just hit the afterburners, and Hanover's gone up 22 to 8. So now they'll line up for the two point conversion. And Osborne with some luck on that, or rather, some rhythm on that last drive. Now Hanover will show a new formation. They'll go spot right, single split left, shotgun. Juneman in the backfield, and Andrew Bruno is going to run it in for the two point conversion 24 to 8 just underway in the second quarter Hanover with the lead when we come back when it's cold outside a hot bowl of soup is calling your name Landall Lanes has a different soup each day of the week all day long until they run out if you're craving a great salad try their winter seasonal called the black and blue salad it's grilled sirloin blue cheese crumbles with romaine lettuce and tomatoes if you've never been to their restaurant you may be surprised to see how large the seating area is. Definitely not your usual bowling alley. Landall Lanes in Marysville. 
Ron Juniman is the owner and operator of RL Juniman Construction of Hanover, and his expertise comes from many years of heavy equipment and dirt moving experience. He really knows what he's doing. His work is amazingly accurate, wasting no time in getting your waterways, terraces, and ponds built, plus you'll clear trees. He has done work throughout the entire KCLY listening area, and his rates are reasonable. Call Ron Juniman at 747-6623. That's 747-6623. 24 to 8, Hanover with the lead. 11 to 16 left in the second. Phil Casper along with our studio engineer tonight, Chase Elliott. Preston Juniman gets set to kick. Kind of a line drive end over end. Sure is going to take it this time at the 10. He's out across 20 to the 30 near midfield and across midfield, actually just short of the midfield stripe, goes the freshman. Sure, he's had some pretty good lanes on these kickoffs. Brought down that time by Ryan Meyer. But Osborne is going to have pretty decent field position, and they're ready to go quickly. Tiernan brings them up to the line. Officials aren't set. Tiernan's ready. He's going to go high formation. Sure, and Gray Bass. Tiernan under center, looks left, looks right, ready to go. Handoff to Gray Bass, a little room up the middle, and that ball's loose, and they're going to call him down. That's a great call by the official as that ball squirted out, and the official all, all over that, and he was right. Gray Bass will pick up five, brings up second five. Osborne crosses the midfield again. And we're leading 24 to 8. Karen and handoff. Sure, this time the fullback, and the little fullback gets loose, and he's got some room, and he's gone. Dent Sure is a freshman. He's listed at 140. I'm assuming he was weighed with his pads on. And just kept his legs turning and got loose. And maybe the fastest guy on the field. Because he is quick. And just like that, it's 24 to 14. So now Tiernan in the gun. Gray Bass in front. They're going to hand off. No, Tiernan will keep it this time. Falls forward. And two point conversion is good. So just a minute and a half into this second quarter, and we've already had two scores, one from Hanover, one from Osborne. 24-16, Wildcats lead when we come back. Is your furnace as efficient as it should be? Make sure it is with a call to Hanover Electric. With highly qualified, experienced electricians and servicemen, Hanover Electric will sell and service heating and air conditioning units, plus they can do all types of plumbing work. They're the ones to call for residential, commercial, and industrial electrical work and for plumbing, refrigerants, trenching, and backhoe work. Hanover Electric keeps everything running efficiently. They look forward to serving you. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios, and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn, and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock, and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 800-371-2252. Brant Walters set to kick for Osborne. Matthew White back deep for the Wildcats. 24 to 16, Hanover with the lead. Kick from Walters, end over end, is going to drive White back into the end zone one more time. Walters can really kick. Hanover really not able to do much on special teams as of yet. Now they'll try to answer Osborne's score. Ball comes out to the 15 yard line. Bruna. Runs in with the play. 10:31 left in the first half. It's 24 to 16. Hanover with the lead. Of 
Brent is going to go gun. In motion is Ringsdorf. Handoff. Juneman got some lead blocking and a little bit of room. Juneman out across the 30. And it should be enough for a first down. They'll give him about an 11-yard gain. Ball's going to be spotted. Actually, that's the 25. Ball will be spotted about the 24. This time, that is enough for a first down. So, Bruna under center. High formation. Option. Left side. Pitch to Juneman. Juneman's going to cut back against the grain. Not much there this time. He'll pick up a couple. Get him about to the 30. So he'll be second about seven. Pick up a three. Hanover breaks huddle. Bruna up to the line. He'll go under center. Juneman right wing. Nichols split right. Brings North alone back. Now path. Bruna rolls out, and he's rushed out of the pocket. Now he's just got to throw it away, and that's grounding. You can't do that. As Andrew Bruna kind of curiously just got to the Osborne sideline and just threw the ball into the Osborne sideline. So intentional grounding. That'll be the loss of down. And they'll back him up. So they'll back him up five, loss of down. That'll bring up about third and 12. Strange play as Bruno was really flushed out of the pocket. Thought he was going to run. So now third and long again for Hanover. Wanting to screen. Now they will. Left side. Nicholson, and he's got some room again. Out across midfield. He may be gone to the 20, to the 10. Across the goal line goes Hunter Nicholson again on the screen pass. And it was a great looking setup. They set that screen to go right. They're running east to west right now. Set it to go right. And Andrew Berna turn, turned on a dive, and Hunter Nicholson is standing to his left all alone. So 51 yards green pass from Bruna to Nicholson. That's the second time they've done that for 50 plus. 30 to 16. And now Hanover will go for two. Bruna in the gun. He wants to run. No, backs out. Now throws. He's got a man back there. Somehow got that off, but it is going to fall incomplete. And Hanover will go up 30 to 16. 9.09 9.09 left in the first half. Hanover 30, Osborne 16 when we come back. Andy's Hardware and Lumber continues to meet the needs of their customers with quality building products, tools, hardware, and customer service. They carry a wide selection of products to give you more choices and more solutions. Whatever you're building or remodeling, you need a reliable source of lumber, windows, doors, and hardware at good competitive prices. When you deal with Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, you'll always be treated right. They extend good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. Are your vehicle's tires ready for winter? Head to the Pony Express Service Center located on Highway 36 south of Hanover for a new set of tires to give you a better grip on the road. Their services include a full line of tires, gasoline, and diesel fuel. And the Pony Express Service Center will deliver their fuel to your farm or business. Have their mechanics check your battery, antifreeze, wiper blades, and lights. The folks at the Pony Express Service Center are strong supporters of the Hanover Wildcats. 30 to 16, Hanover with the lead. 909 left in the first half. Juniman set to kick off for Hanover. Now a little pooch kick to the left side, and that will be fielded cleanly by Osborne. Did not catch them off guard at all. Alex Workman, a senior, ready for that. Hanover tries a little pooch kick and 
going to set Osborne up at the 30-yard line, first and 10. In that little screen pass to Hunter Nicholson has worked twice and worked to perfection. 51 yards that time for a score. 50 yards on the first series. Tiernan hands off to Gray Bass. Met at the line of scrimmage by pretty much everybody. We'll give Diedrich credit on that, along with Ethan Fritchie. Pickup of a yard, second nine. Austin Diedrich in that nose position. Fritchie on the left. Devin Trisky on the right. Tearing it under center. High formation. Quickly drops back. Wants to throw. Now he's going to take off, and he's going to be bet again. And that's the big man, Ethan Fritchie. And Osborne will lose a yard. Third and ten. Ethan Fritchie that time not fooled at all. And the pocket collapsed quickly on Jake Tanner, and he had to take off. A third 10, and now a timeout on the field. Osborne wants to talk about it. 8.02 left in the first half, 30-16, to 16, and a release. We'll bring you back to Osborne right after this. From birth and routine checkups to emergency care and rehab services, the Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic is a place where residents experience a lifetime of health care. It's a small community hospital that takes pride in who they are and those they serve. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic also supports the Hanover Wildcats in all their academic and athletic endeavors. They encourage everyone to cheer on the student athletes in the classroom, on the court, on the field, and in the community. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic are proud fans of the Hanover Wildcats. 30-16, 30-16, to 16, Hanover leads, 8.02 left in the first half in trying to get you some scores from around the area. Concordia down to Andale, 27 to nothing. It is Halstead, 30, Minneapolis, 0. Also, uh, Troy is up on Linden. That's a Twin Valley League team. Minneapolis now down 44 to nothing. Again, Axel was trailing Argonia 34-22. That game kicked off at 6 in Argonia. Have not seen an update since that 34-22. And now out of the timeout, and a penalty flag is going to be thrown. Oh, an illegal shift is going to be called on Osborne. And that will drive a coach crazy. So instead of third and 10, now you're looking at third and 15. So out of the Osborne timeout, penalized five yards. Third and 15. Now, Tiernan will set his team. Wing right. Motion right to left. Tiernan, screen pass left side. He's got a little room. That's Brant Walters, but he's going to be swallowed up once again by Cody Ringstorf and Evan Zabatrisky. He'll pick up a couple as Zabatrisky and Ringstorf got there quick, so fourth and 12, and Osborne will probably be forced to punt. Now, the punter for Osborne is Jake Tiernan. You can't imagine that they would want to fake it here, but he is capable, and they will line up to go for it under center, and now they're going to call timeout. Yeah, they just wanting to see what the Hanover defense would do. A quick timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it right here. 7.01 left in the first half, Hanover leading 30-16. Again, trying to keep you up on some scores. Minneapolis was down to Halstead. 14, or rather 44 to nothing. Second quarter, Onega 14, Olke 7. It was uh, Concordia down to Andale. Last check, that was 27 nothing, Andale up. And the last thing we have on Axel is 34 22. They were trailing. Again, that game kicked off at 
six tonight in Argonia. Here's 701 left in the half. 30 to 16, Hanover with the lead. And Osborne's going to line up to go for it again. Karen will go under center. It's fourth and 12. The ball is spotted at the 28. Tiernan drops back to pass. Rush on by Savage Trisky and nearly intercepted and now bounced around and caught. But the ball is going to, it doesn't matter. That's going to be Hanover football anyway. I mean, Tiernan was rocked by Evan Zabatrisky. That pass nearly intercepted by Ethan Fritchie. Little tip drill going on, caught by Brant Walters, but immediately hammered. And I think that was Preston Juniman. So this is going to be Hanover football in Osborne territory, first and 10. The ball is about to 32. And in the shotgun, and Hanover is going to look to go for it right away, and Bruna is hammered again. And now a flag is going to be thrown near Evan Zabatristi. The ball is intended for him. They're going to call pass interference on Zabatristi. And that ball was 10 yards short, and both Zabatristi and the defender for Osborne, Parker Walt, Parks Walters, had stopped. But they will call pass interference on Hanover. That's a 15-yard penalty. That is going to... Well, that's going to back Hanover up, back into their own territory. So now it'll be first and 30. I have no idea what just happened there. Now there's a pass to Evan Savitrisky and Baboom. Just like that, that's how you answer. We watched Hanover do this against Udall, I believe, three times. A little tight end dump to Evan Zabatrisky over the middle and a 50 yard touchdown to Evan Zabatrisky, and it's 36 to 16. So the inexplicable pass interference call on Zabatrisky is answered by Hanover with a 50-yard touchdown. And Hanover has gone up 36-16. Line up to go for two. Double tight. High formation. Pitch. Right side. Ringsdorf wants to throw. He's got Zabatrisky and that ball is going to be knocked down. Intercepted actually by Tiernan. So two-point conversion. No good. 6.37 6.37 left for the first half. Hanover's gone up 36.16. We'll bring you back to Osborne right after this. At Sapp Brothers, they pride themselves on the high level of service they provide and their ability to meet their customers' special fueling needs. From bulk gasoline and diesel to propane and oil delivery, Sapp Brothers is a fuel source to residents and businesses alike in Marshall and Washington counties. They can deliver a variety of bulk fuels to where you need it, at your home or out in the field. Contact them for a competitive fuel quote. Call their Hanover office at 337-2446. When your business is agriculture, you want a banking partner behind you that doesn't cut and run at the first sign that there will be some tough times ahead. There are good years and there are bad years. We're here for them all. Agriculture is the backbone of our local economy. We believe in it. We invest in it. We're here for the long haul. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Kickoff coming from Hanover, Preston Juniman, and now an onside kick attempted by Ringsdorf, and that's going to be loose, and it'll be recovered by, I believe Osborne got on top of that, and they did. I think that was, I think that was Ethan Fritzke who had it just briefly, but Osborne will recover, so Osborne twice now, Hanover's tried that. Onside kick, Osborne will have it about the 36, their own 36, first to 10. Six and a half left in the first half. 
after Hanover up 36-16. Karen in the line of scrimmage. Hands off to sure, and he's got a little bit of room again, and the freshman rounds the corner, but he's going to be tackle made that time by Devin Juneman. 160-pound junior, and sure with a little room again, he'll pick up eight. Second two. Same formation, I sure up front. Walters in the back, and sure again. Breaks loose, ball comes loose, but he's down, and he's going to pick up about six yards into Hanover territory. First and ten. Ball is going to be spotted at about, about the 27 of Hanover. About 5.50 left in this first half. Here in an under center pitch, right side to Gray Bass, trying to turn the corner, not there. He's going to be brought down by Juneman. Fritchie with the assist. Preston Juneman closed on that quickly, a couple of yards, second and eight. Play comes in from the sidelines of Osborne. Tiernan quickly up. Under center, eye formation, handoff left side. It's sure again, bounces around in there like a pinball. Brought down by Fritchie. He'll pick up about three. Brings up third and five. Third and five now for Osborne. In the Bulldogs, 10 and one. One loss on the year to Hanover. Hanover, perfect, 11 and 0. Pitch right side to Gray Bass, trying to round the corner, and he is swallowed up by Preston Juneman. And they are going to be no gain that time on Juneman. That'll bring up fourth down. So fourth and five. Ball spotted about the 23 of Hanover. Play in from the sideline. Four minutes left in the first half. Hanover up 36-16. Tiernan, back to pass. Looking, pass is going to be caught, and then it's going to be very, very close. And they won't even measure. That will be an Osborne first down. Nice play that time by Jake Tiernan. Ball is going to be, pass going to be caught by Grant Walters, tackled by Juneman. Here comes Tiernan quickly up to the line. Eye formation, handoff to Schur, right side. Hammered by Zabatrisky. Fritchie. And we'll give... Darvin Nicky a little credit on that one as well. Gain of two, second eight. Huge pickup for Osborne that time on that fourth down. Now Tanner will go shotgun, split two, one right, one left. Snap two, Tiernan looking to throw. Now he's going to run and he's got a little room up the middle. Tiernan. Jukes his way down towards the goal line and falls in for an Osborne touchdown. We'll call it about 15 yards and it's 36 22. Three oh four left in the second is thirty six twenty two. Osborne lines up to go for two. Same formation, double split. Shotgun, Tiernan looking, now throws. That's going to be overthrown, and they're going to call Hunter Nicholson on a pass interference. Well, I know what they're calling. They're going to, they're going to say Hunter Nicholson went up over the back trying to knock that ball down, and really Nicholson, that ball well overthrown. And 
Nicholson would have been better just to lay back. But again, football players aren't put together like that. They're not wired that way to think like that. Same formation, this time motion. Karen is going to keep, roll left. Now he's going to pitch to Schur, and Cody Ringsdorf blew him up. Not even close. 304 left in the second, 36 22, Hanover with the lead when we come back. Farming has inherent risk. Will your investments pay off this year? The answer depends on many factors. Some you can't control, and others you cannot. That's where we come in. I'm Dave Savage with Blue Valley Insurance, and our agents can help you find the right insurance to protect your farming operation against a loss affecting your crops, livestock, equipment, and property. With four locations in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville, Blue Valley Insurance can help manage your risk so your farm will prosper into the future. For a sound herd health program, your vaccination headquarters is Valley Vet Supply. They have all the vaccines to protect your cows and calves from respiratory infections, black leg, pink eye, and pneumonia, as well as pregnancy protection vaccines to ensure a better calf yield next year. Combination shots for your calves are also available. Vaccination is important for achieving an adequate immune response, and Valley Vet Supply will get you started. See them in Marysville or online at valleyvet.com. 36-22, 36-22, Hanover leads. Walter set to kick. Again, a line shot is going to drive White back this time at the goal line. He's got a shot. Runs it out. Down around the left side. He's got a little bit of room if he can make that edge. And he does. Down around uh, the 30. Pushed out of bounds. They're going to mark him about the 35. And they will mark him at about the 33. So a good return. By White will say 32 yard return. He took that at about the one and ran about 60 yards. The ball at the 32. Matthew White's first real opportunity for a return. Bruna under center, slot right formation. Rams north, the single back. Hand off. No, Bruna's going to keep it himself. Spin now bounces off the line of scrimmage. He's got a little room down the right side across midfield to the 30 to the 25 and about the 24 is where they're going to spot him. Andrew Bruno with a little bit of an opening and he's going to get about 25 yards into Osborne territory and they'll spot him right at about the 25. And Bruno was all but swallowed up at the line of scrimmage and somehow bounced out of there and found a little room down the right side. And we've got an Axel update. An Axel was trailing at last check. 56-30. That was in the third, about a minute left. Bruna pitched left to Juniman. Good block that time by Diedrich. But Juniman is going to be forced out of bounds at about the 20. Again, Axel trailing Argonia, 56-30. Jeff Ward's keeping us up on that. Halftime in Concordia. Concordia, after giving up 21 in the first quarter, did a little better defensively. They trailed 27 nothing at halftime. Onega also playing tonight the Twin Valley League. They were up. Shotgun formation. Now the ball's loose on the ground, and Bruna somehow falls down on that. Actually, that was Will Bruna falling on that, so Hanover's going to lose five. Brings up third and ten. Down under two minutes left in the first half. 36-22, Hanover leads. Third and ten now. Judeman splits right. And... Can't tell if Hanover's confused, and they are. They're going to have to burn a timeout. Minute 35 left in the half. Hanover leads 36 22. Timeout on the field. We'll bring you back right after this. A job worth doing is worth doing right. The crew at Orville Juniman Dozer Service and Or Al Quarries of Hanover is hardworking and can complete a variety of jobs for your residential or commercial projects. 
and your farm and ranch needs. From site prep work and conservation work to building and repairing waterways, terraces, and ponds, Orville Juniman Dozer Service takes pride in their quality workmanship. They also have ag lime and road rock of all sizes for special projects. Give them a call at 337-2482. Minute 35 left in the first half, and a relief 36-22, third and 10. Timeout on the field. Studio engineer tonight is Chase Elliott. Appreciate his work. Also appreciate Jeff Wurtz and Jerry Strait keeping us up on scores from around the area. Several teams in action. Axel had led Argonia for quite a while, but trailed at last check. Concordia was at halftime. They trailed 27 nothing. Andrew Bruna goes shotgun. Ringsdorf, the lone back. Bruna wants to throw. Screen pass left side. Ringsdorf, he's got a little bit of room. Bounces around. He's going to get the first down and more. Down to the 10. He's going to be finally brought down at about the 12 of Osborne. And Osborne just has not found an answer for that screen pass. That time defended pretty well. But Ringsdorf with some pretty sweet moves. Gets it down. Well, they're going to mark that at about the seven of Osborne. So first and goal with a minute 15. Shotgun, three wide, screen right, Ringsdorf, a little room again, and now he's tripped up. Falls across the five-yard line. Good tackle that time in the open field by Colin Graybass. Again, he's just a sophomore. So Osborne returns a lot next year. Second goal. Bruna in the gun. Two splits. Runs left. Now crosses back towards or cuts the grain of the field in to the end zone for another Hanover touchdown. Nice job that time by Andrew Bruna as he wanted to option left and caught a little bit of daylight out of the corner of his eye and cut back against the grain and walked in untouched. Good read by Andrew Bruna, and Hanover's gone up 42-22. So 42 seconds left, and Hanover will line up to go for two. Under center, split right. Juneman in the wing, on the right. Option, Ringsdorf, and he's going to go in untouched. 42 seconds left in the first half. Hanover, 44, Osborne, 22, when we come back. Farmers Cooperative Hanover take this opportunity to extend their good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. See the Farmers Cooperative for a full line of products and services. From fuel to feed, agronomy to tires, and grain to lubricants, they have it all. Their goal is to make your operation more profitable. Farmers Cooperative with added locations now in Herkimer, Marysville, and Bremen. Farms Cooperative, investing in our owner's success. And investing in our youth. What the heck is a firewall? What's the difference between SD and HD TV? How much data should I have on my cell phone plan? How do I hook my tablet up to the internet? Where do all these cords for my new computer go? For answers to all your burning questions, look to your local telecommunications provider, Blue Valley Telecommunications, providing phone, internet, TV, cellular, and so much more. Now offering IT support and consulting for your business. Juneman with the kick. He'll pooch it once again, this time a little bit deeper. That ball is going to check up in front of Sure, and he's going to be rocked right where he picked it up. And that's White, Matthew White, and Trey Losey. On the tackle, Hanover 44, Osborne 22 with 38 seconds left in the half. And Osborne has been able to get it rolling. But they've shot themselves in the foot a couple of times and just have not found an answer for Hanover's short pass game. That's what seems to be working. High formation, handoff, great ass, right side, a little bit of room. He's going to be tackled after about a five-yard gain by Austin Diedrich. Hunter Nicholson with the assist. He'll pick up five, second five. And Osborne may be content to let this go. 15 seconds left. 
down to 10, and they're going to have to hurry if they want to get a playoff. Down to 4, to 3, and now... Well, we've got a flag on the field, and going to be on Osborne. That's a substitution. And you can hear the you can hear Coach Chief Tiernan if you know him. He's not hard to hear. The official explaining it just as loud. Now, handoff is going to be too sure, and he's going to be hammered by Ethan Fritchie, and we are headed to half. Hannah Relieves, 44-22, we're at halftime in Osborne. We'll bring you back right after this. The lights go out, the tents light up, the music blasts, lasers beam around the room. It's Cosmic Bowling, the most novel way to have fun in the entertainment galaxy. Cosmic Bowling is Friday and Saturday night starting at 10 p.m. at Landall Lane. Come in where it's nice and warm and enjoy a cold beverage and some hot food. Make Cosmic Bowling the fun highlight of your weekend. Open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to midnight. Land all lanes in Marysville. Ron Juniman is the owner and operator of R.L. Juniman Construction of Hanover, and his expertise comes from many years of heavy equipment and dirt moving experience. He really knows what he's doing. His work is amazingly accurate, wasting no time in getting your waterways, terraces, and ponds built, plus you'll clear trees. He has done work throughout the entire KCLY listening area, and his rates are reasonable. Call Ron Juniman at 747-6623. That's 747-6623. Is your furnace as efficient as it should be? Make sure it is with a call to Hanover Electric. With highly qualified, experienced electricians and servicemen, Hanover Electric will sell and service heating and air conditioning units, plus they can do all types of plumbing work. They're the ones to call for residential, commercial, and industrial electrical work, and for plumbing, refrigerants, trenching, and backhoe work. Hanover Electric keeps everything running efficiently. They look forward to serving you. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 800-371-2252. Welcome back to Osborne. Osborne trailing Hanover 44-22. Again, the winner of this will head to the state title game. That is next Saturday. Eight-man Division One will go at 3.30 in Newton. Right now, Hanover well on their way. They lead 44-22, and Osborne just unable to answer Hanover's short passing game particularly that screen pass is just killing Osborne right now and no answer for it. Uh, checking some scores around the area, Opie and Onega are tied at 14. Last check, Axel was trailing uh, Argonia 56-30. to 30. That was in the third. Halftime in Concordia at Sandale 27. Concordia 0. Halstead was up on Minneapolis at last check, 44 to nothing. Also, Troy uh, out of the Twin Valley League was up in their game. And we're going to take a little break here from the action at Osborne at halftime, about 12 minutes away from getting things underway in the second half. And we're leading 44-22. Get you back to the studio, get you a check at AP News, and bring you back for second half action in just a bit. Andy's Hardware and Lumber continues to meet the needs of their customers with quality building products, tools, hardware, and customer service. They carry a wide selection of products to give you more choices and more solutions. Whatever you're building or remodeling, you need a reliable source of lumber, windows, doors, and hardware at good competitive prices. When you deal with Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, you'll always be treated right. They extend good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. 
At Central Valley Ag, we're growing agriculture together. Our agronomy division incorporates the latest technologies to support and strengthen your on-the-farm success. We continuously invest in state-of-the-art equipment to expand capacity and maximize efficiency in supplying your operation. Central Valley Ag is committed to serving the needs of our Nebraska and Kansas customers through dedicated professionals, providing innovative solutions that grow value. Stop by a Central Valley Ag location today. Learn more about how we're growing agriculture together. A Ford certified pre-owned vehicle is the way to go, especially for value conscious people. At a Hanson Ford and Clay Center, they have a good selection to choose from. Get 2.9% APR for up to 60 months, available on eligible pre-owned Ford and Mercury vehicles. Rates available only through Ford Credit. In addition, all contracts are subject to credit approval as determined by Ford Credit. Don't wait, the best ones go fast to Hanson Ford and Clay Center. Twin Valley wants to give thanks to our customers to help you stay in touch with your family and friends for the holidays. Sign up today and get a $100 signing bonus and unlimited data. And for an added bonus, get free activation from November 24th through November 26th. You can keep your current number and it's easy to switch to get all your services on one bill. Offer only available for a limited time and certain restrictions apply. Stop at either Twin Valley office in Miltonville or Clay Center to save big at our Giving Thanks event. Don't wait to grab a great deal. Well, just about a minute from getting second-half action underway in Osborne. Hanover leading the Bulldogs 44-22. Trying to punch their ticket to the state title game. That'll be next Saturday at 3.30. Eight-man Division One will kick. Eight-man Division Two will go first in Newton. That is an 11 o'clock kick. And Osborne did defer in that first half. They'll have the ball to get things rolling in this third quarter. Clock is set. Both teams have returned to their sidelines. And getting final instructions. Coach Steve Tiernan out meeting with the White Hat. Not quite sure what he's discussing. He's pretty animated. Really just a couple of calls that have gone against Osborne. Both pass interference calls have gone against Hanover. And we're out on the they're out on the field. They're ready to go. And now Osborne takes the field. So Juneman set the kick for the Wildcats. They'll be sure and Gray Bass back deep for the Bulldogs. And second half action is underway. There is a high pooch kick. And that had to be a miss by Juneman. That went straight up in the air. It did go 10 yards. And it was recovered by by Osborne. Brant Walters signaling for a fair catch. It looked a lot like a punt. That had to be a best hit by Juneman. So Osborne with pretty good field position. They'll spot him right at their own 36, and we're set to go. Shotgun for Tiernan. He wants to throw. Looking deep. He's got gray bass. He's got a step on Zarbernicki, and he hits him down to the 10, to the 5, and pushed out of bounds at 3. And Colin Graybass had a step on Adam Zarbernicki. So Osborne, with a huge start to this first half, they're going to have it first and goal at the Hanover 4. About a 40-yard pass to get things rolling. Tiernan, under center, handoff. Sure, near the goal line, and they'll stay short. They're going to spot him at the 1. (laughs) 
So Osborne will have a second goal, ball spotted. Well, we'll call it the one, more like the half. Karen and under center. He's going to hand off to Gray Bass, and he's going to walk in for a Bulldog touchdown. So Osborne really in danger of letting this game get away from him. Comes out and strikes early and gets themselves right back in it. 44-28, they'll line up to go for two. Been very, very cold here tonight, but no wind. Karen wants a snap, gets it, rolls right, looking to throw, and he's got a man all by himself in the back of the end zone. That is Matt Fansfield. Just like that, it's 44 to 30. Hanover with the lead. We'll have uh, Osborne kickoff when we come back. From birth and routine checkups to emergency care and rehab services, the Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic is a place where residents experience a lifetime of health care. It's a small community hospital that takes pride in who they are and those they serve. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic also supports the Hanover Wildcats in all their academic and athletic endeavors. They encourage everyone to cheer on the student athletes in the classroom, on the court, on the field, and in the community. The Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic are proud fans of the Hanover Wildcats. Well, Osborne came out into this second half and made an early statement. They're not going to go down without a fight, and I don't think anybody thought they would. 44-30. And we're still with the lead. Osborne set to kick. It'll be Walters kicking off to Matthew White. White really with one chance to return and did get a pretty good return. The one shot he got at it. Walter's kick, oh boy, that is driven way back, and that's going to take White into the end zone again. And this time it works out for Hanover. White's a good half yard into that end zone, but he brings it out across the 20, about the 25. Looks like they're going to spot him at about the 24. Both feet that time were in the end zone. I'm not sure I, I quite understand. In high school, that's a dead ball. That ball automatically comes out an eight chance at the 15, but worked out for Hanover that time. They'll have it at the 24. Bruno will come out under center. High formation, Juneman tailback, Ringsdorf fullback. Option, right side, Juneman trying to turn the corner. He's going to be met over there. Nice play that time defensively by Parks Walters, and Juneman will get about a yard. Hanover with some success on that option, but swallowed up that time by the Bulldogs. The second nine. This time, Juneman's going to stay shotgun. He'll send three receivers right. One left is Nicholson. He'll put Ringsdorf on his left. Juneman Option left. No, that is a Bruno pitch to Juneman. I thought that was Ringsdorf. Juneman's going to be forced out at about the 30. So he's going to pick up about five. Third, four. That's Juneman that time lined up at the backfield with Bruno. They've been putting Ringsdorf back there much of the night as a single back. And now he is split right. And Juneman will stay in the backfield. So, slot right. But Nicholson split left. Option right side. This time Bruno's going to keep it. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to get the first down across midfield. And they're going to spot him just short of midfield at about the 38. And that's enough for a first down. Andrew Bruna 
you know, we talk about that read option a lot. And Andrew Bruner does it as well as anybody. The tough, tough read, you either get it or you don't. Swing pass, Ringsdorf, left side, Ringsdorf up the middle. Now he cuts back across the field. A little bit of room. He's going to pick up about 11, maybe 12 for another Hanover first down. They're going to spot him at about the 28 of Osborne. A little swing pass that time to Cody Ringsdorf. And he cut against the grain. Back across the middle of the field. Bruna in the gun. Juneman to his right. Slot right formation. Roll out. Looking. Bruna flushed out of the pocket. Now he's going to have to run it. This time he'll just eat it, and that is, that's what you have to do. You know, that's the last thing Andrew Bruno wants to do. He's a competitor, and he wants to make something happen. But sometimes you got to cut your losses, and that time he'll cut his loss for about a three-yard loss, but could have been a lot worse. So second, about 13. Ball still in Osborne territory, about the 31. Three receivers left. Shotgun look for Andrew Bruna. Drops back, looking. Throws down the field. He's got Cody Ringsdorf. Ringsdorf breaks loose. They had nearly broke it. Gets down to about the 10-yard line. Ringsdorf broke loose of Jake Tiernan, but Tiernan was just enough of Ringsdorf's shoelace to bring him down. They'll spot him at about the 11 of Osborne, first and 10. 7.48 left in the third. Hanover lead, 44-30, trying to answer Osborne's score. Shotgun, Juneman, motion left to right. Handoff, Will Bruna. Now he'll pitch it to Juneman. Juneman cuts back inside and walks into the end zone. And that is a great play. It's a Will Bruna. It's Andrew Bruna pitch to Will Bruna, who pitches to Juneman on the option right, and Juneman in untouched. It is 50 to 30. Hanover will line up for two, and that's what you have to do. Osborne feeling pretty good about themselves comes out on that first play for a 40-yard pass play, in for the score just a minute into the second half. And now Hanover answers with a nice drive to lead 50 to 30. Bruna in the gun. Juneman alone back. Bruna, option. Right side, Juneman cuts against the grain, falls forward, and just short. Then two-point conversion fails. 7.31 left in the third. It's 50 to 30. Hanover with the lead when we come back. At Sapp Brothers, they pride themselves on the high level of service they provide and their ability to meet their customers' special fueling needs. From bulk gasoline and diesel to propane and oil delivery, Sapp Brothers is a fuel source to residents and businesses alike in Marshall and Washington counties. They can deliver a variety of bulk fuels to where you need it, at your home or out in the field. Contact them for a competitive fuel quote. Call their Hanover office at 337-2446. In today's economy, you need a banking partner that understands agriculture, that can help you make the big decisions a little bit easier. From getting the right equipment to even the seed you need to plant your fields. In this part of the country, agriculture is more than just a job, it's a way of life. Citizen State Bank, Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. We're just making a Seven thirty-one left in the third, fifty to thirty. Hanover with the answer to Osborne. They came out to start the second half. First play, forty-plus yards pass play, and into the end zone, and it's forty-four to thirty. And Hanover answers. That was a little pooch kick by Juneman, and he found a dead spot. Osborne does come up with it. That's Graybass. He's going to be swallowed up. Maybe a return of about two. Good tackle that time by Trey Losey. Now Hanover will try to stop.
Pop Osborne. With that 20 point lead. Again, the winner of this game will advance to the state title game next Saturday in Newton, a 3.30 kick for eight-man Division One. Karen and in the gun, and now flags fly, probably false start, and that's what it is. Karen and runs this quick, and it's, it's a little bit like what Chip Kelly does in Philadelphia, what Oregon does. He gets his team to the line, and he wants to move, and he's, he's out there rolling his right hand like, come on, guys. He tries to get that offense in a rhythm, and for the most part, they do a pretty good job. But that time cost him just tearing and rushing it a little bit. Now he's going to have to hurry. He's got to get his team to the line. He does. Gets the snap off barely. Swing pass, sure to the right. He's got a little bit of room. Cuts back to the green. It's hammered from behind by the big man. That's Ethan Fritchie. So sure gets the penalty yards back. And that's about it. Actually, not quite. He's going to gain. They're just going to give him two yards on that. I thought he had more than that, but that's going to leave it second 13. Now, Karen empties the backfield. Shotgun. Looking to throw a rush on from Ringsdorf. He's got a man, and that's Graybass. And what a throw and catch. Wow. Good coverage for Brant Walters. Actually, good coverage that time by Hunter Nicholson, but Tiernan threw a bullet. Picked up about, about 10, so that'll be third two. All spotted about the 31 of Osborne. Up to the line quickly. Under center goes Kiernan. Handoff, sure, and he's going to be met inside. He does fall forward. He's met by Ethan Fritzke. Somehow gets away from him, and I think got enough for the first. And he does. And again, Fritchie comes in. He's listed at 6'4", 250. And he's all of that. Sure, the freshman is listed at 140. And again, probably weighed with his pads on. I'm not sure how he bounces off Fritchie, but he does. Cairn in the gun. Swing pass to Walters. And there's Fritchie. Pushes him back. Can't get him. Now gets away. Now Zarbadicki finishes up what Fritchie started. And Osborne's going to lose a couple. Hunter Nicholson in there. Zarb and Nicky and Ringsdorf. Nicholson a little bit shaken up, but he's up. Fritchie had him, just couldn't quite get him wrapped up, but got him slowed enough to where his backside helped. Could really work it, and they'll lose three, second 13. Karen in the gun, single back. Hand off. No, he'll keep it. He'll pull it and keep it. He's going to pick up the loss plus a couple. That'll bring up about third and seven. Down under five minutes left in the third. Hanover with the 20 point lead, 50 to 30. Karen will go under center now. Sure, the lone back, double split, one left, one right. Karen drops back. Got a man. It's Walters nearly caught in good coverage that time by Hunter Nicholson. And again, Nicholson's going to get caught. So pass interference that's right in front of us. The only issue I have with that play is that is called by there's a four man crew this is called by the official in back and the official that's on the play doesn't throw his flag I really do think it probably was I think Nicholson had him around the waist so that's going to give Osborne a first down at about the 29 of Hanover 
Tiernan drops back to throw. Chased by Zabatriski. He's got another man, and that's Bannon Steele, and he's loose, and Osborne's going to score. And I tell you what, Jake Tiernan throws strikes. Because that was great coverage that time on Bannon Steele by Devin Juneman. And somehow Tiernan thread at that needle. And now Osborne with a chance to make this a 12-point game. It's 5th to 36. Tiernan in the gun. Drops back. Looking for Walters and just let him a little too much. Actually, that was Gray Bass. Just let him a little too much. And the two-point conversion, no good. 427 left in the third. It's 50 to 36. Hanover with the lead when we come back. Running your business is a challenge. Getting insurance shouldn't be. I'm Dave Savage with Blue Valley Insurance, and we know you have many decisions to make every day. You don't need to be tied up worrying about business and commercial auto insurance. We can insure your company vehicle or fleet easily. We have the right coverage for your company, giving you the protection you need. Visit Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenlee, Hanover, and Marysville for your business and commercial auto coverage. When it's time to get cattle in the stock fields, you'll need the right fences to keep them there. Valley Vet Supply has a great selection of solar power and plug-in fencers, insulators, poly wire, and all the accessories. The various fence systems, including Parmac and Zariba, are economical, easy to install and maintain, offers better control and great prices. Check them out online, valleyvet.com or in Marysville. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 8, Saturday, 8 to 6, and Sunday, 1230 to 5. Well, Osborne comes out, scores the second half. Hanover answers. Osborne answers. It's 50-36. to 36, And Brant Walters sets a kick. Matthew White deep. Walters kick and tried to onside it. And the ball goes about two yards. And offside is going to be called against Osborne. So they'll back up five, a little bit of a mental error by the Bulldogs there. I don't believe they'll try it again, but they might. Trying that onside kick, and Brant Walters just missed. Kick off from Walters. He will try it again. Find a little dead spot. There's Trey Losey. He's going to pick it up. Losey now is going to try to run it. It does. It gets out across the 25. Nice job by Trey Losey. First of all, to get that ball, get a hold of it, and then have presence of mind to take off with it. Now you taught to fall on that ball, but Losey did have a good opportunity to gain about an extra five yards where that ball landed. So Hanover will have the football at the 25. Bruno will go gun. He'll send one wide right. Juneman in the backfield and set to his left. Handoff to Juneman to the right side. Rounds the corner, and Juneman's got a little room again. Out across midfield, and he'll pick up about 16 yards on that first carry and put Hanover into Osborne territory. Ball spotted at the 38-yard line of Osborne. In Hanover with the lead, 50 to 36. Same formation. Bernie gets the snap in the gun. He'll hand off again to Juneman. Now this time Juneman's going to be wrapped up for maybe a yard loss. Brant Walters, good defense that time. They will call it a not a yard loss. Second and eleven. Opie's gone up on Onega, 20-14. to 14. Axel has lost their game, 70-44. Five turnovers for Axel in that game. And uh, Boy, Andale's gone up 
on Concordia now 40 to 7. Snap to Bruna in the gun. He's got a man and right through the hands of Juneman. Good coverage that time by Osborne. So incomplete, third and 11. So third and 11 now. Bruna in the gun. Ringsdorf to his left. Drops back, wants to throw. Find Ringsdorf over the middle. Ringsdorf has enough for first and gets loose. Still on his feet, down to the 20 and out of bounds. And they will say his knee went down. Oh, wow. Boy, they are going to call. They're going to say Cody Ringsdorf. Now, really, they do get the first down, but they're going to say Cody Ringsdorf's knee went down at about the 26. So, nothing hurt, but he had about 10 or 15 extra yards, and his knee wasn't even close. I'm positioned in the Osborne stands, and even the fans over here. No, oh, they just got a break. And now quickly to the line comes Panover. Bruna sets, and now they're going to, yeah, you can't do that. There's two guys in motion. So Panover trying to get a jump. Osborne wasn't ready. Panover trying to get a little bit of a jump, and it backfires. So five yards, it'll be first and 15. Cody Ringsdorf on that pass. He did reverse his field a little bit. His hand went down to the ground, and he kept going, and they said his knee went down. So, regardless, he got the first down. So, first and 15 now with two and a half left in the third. Under center goes Bruna. Option, left side, Ringsdorf. He's got a little bit of room. Bulls his way up to about the 25 and probably got the penalty yard back, and that's about it. Oh, uh, they'll give me six. The second nine. Short side of the field that time for Ringsdorf, just not quite enough to make that turn. Slot left, single back is Juneman. Bruna in the gun. Option right. Now Bruna's going to reverse his field. He's going to be eaten up by Brant Walters. Gain of about a yard. Good defense that time by Brant Walters. Third and seven. So third and seven, slot left. Two receivers. Zabatrisky goes wide right. Osborne jumps, and now Bruna loses the ball on the snap. No call on the offsides. I think they did get back nearly a disaster. Four handovers. That snap just got away from Andrew Bruna. And I think the three guys on the front line jumping drew his attention, and I think the center for Hanover snapped it trying to get that penalty. And <laughs> Andrew Bruna not quite ready so they do get the ball back they don't lose anything but it's fourth down actually they'll lose about three so fourth and ten three receivers right Bruna in the gun looking to throw now he's caught now he does get it away balls up in the air caught are you kidding me Evan Zavitrisky Caught that ball. Jake Tiernan went up and tipped it, and Evan Babatrisky falling, and I mean level, somehow reaches a hand up and pulls that ball down. What a play by Evan Babatrisky. And Jake Tiernan, with his hands on his hips, saying, what else could I have done? Nothing. 
So first and ten for Hanover. Here they come. Option. <laughs> Juneman. And Matt Spanenfield just ate Preston Juneman up. That's going to be about a five-yard loss. That play by Evan Zabatrisky was a highlight real catch. That was amazing. So now it's second goal at the 15 with 22 seconds left, and Hanover may let it go. Now here comes Bruno with the play with 15. 50 to 36. They will get a playoff. Second goal from the 15. Shotgun for Bruna. Three receivers left. Looking. Has time. Has a man. That's Ringsdorf. Ringsdorf turns the corner and he's in for a handover touchdown. Hunter Nicholson with an outstanding block at the three-yard line. Opened that lane up for Ringsdorf and it's 56-36. Time has expired in the third period, so we will do the two-point conversion and then head to the final quarter. Hanover's gone up 56-36. They'll try to add two more right here. High formation, Hunter Nicholson wide right. Bruna under center gets the snap. Option right, looking to pitch as Juneman turns the corner and walks in for a two-point conversion. Headed to the fourth. It's 58-36. Hanover with the lead when we come back. A job worth doing is worth doing right. The crew at Orville Juneman Dozer Service and Or Al Quarries of Hanover is hardworking and can complete a variety of jobs for your residential or commercial projects and your farm and ranch needs. From site prep work and conservation work to building and repairing waterways, terraces and ponds, Orville Juneman Dozer Service takes pride in their quality workmanship. They also have ag lime and road rock of all sizes for special projects. Give them a call at 337 337- 2482. Farmers Cooperative Hanover take this opportunity to extend their good luck wishes to the Hanover Wildcats. See the Farmers Cooperative for a full line of products and services. From fuel to feed, agronomy to tires, and grain to lubricants, they have it all. Their goal is to make your operation more profitable. Farmers Cooperative with added locations now in Herkimer, Marysville, and Bremen. Farmers Cooperative, investing in our owner's success. And investing in our youth. Headed to the fourth, Hanover's gone up 58-36. And now both teams on the wrong side of the field. So they'll try it again. Gentlemen set to kick off for Hanover. 180-pound senior. He's pooch kicked last three or four. See if he kicks this time too sure. Nope, he'll pooch again. High kick this time. It hits the ground. Sure does pick it up and they're gonna Oh, I'm not sure what the call is there. They'll call they're gonna call sure down. Where he started. So his knee apparently did touch the ground. So Osborne will start out at the 16, their own 16-yard line. First and 10, 58-36, Hanover with the lead. Fourth quarter just underway. Tiernan drops back to throw. Looking, now flag thrown on the field. Tiernan trying to run. He will pick up about five yards, but there is a flag on the play. In the Osborne backfield. And a holding is going to be called on Osborne. So Osborne not off to a good start in this fourth period. This is going to back him up. And this is right in Hanover's wheelhouse. Zavitrisky, Fritchie, and Austin Diedrich up front. And they're bringing it. Darren and dropping back to pass. A little screen pass is going to be knocked down. I think Frischie got a hand on that. So 
That's going to bring up second down at 20. So Fritchie, Diedrich, and Zabatrisky up front. Juneman behind Fritchie. Ringsdorf behind Zabatrisky. And Osborne with the football at about the five, and I'm not sure what the problem is here. Officials settled up, and now, now they get it straightened out, whatever they were trying to work out. Ball spotted at the five-yard line of Osborne. Bulldogs break huddle, eye formation. Tiernan under center. Drops back to pass, pressure on. He's got a man downfield at nice coverage that time, broken up. Good play by the Hanover Wildcats, Devin Juneman. That ball intended for Parks Walters, and he had a step, but Juneman able to recover and knock that ball away. Third down to 20. <laughs> Great crowd on hand from Hanover. Very few in the stands, but on the track they stretch almost the length of the field. Empty backfield shotgun for Tiernan, third 20. Looking, got a man, that's Walters. He's going to get out about the 10-yard line, maybe the 12, and looks like they'll spot him at about the 13. So that's going to bring up fourth and about 12. So about an eight-yard pickup. Brings up fourth and 12. 11.31 left in the ballgame. It's 58-36. And over with the lead. They will line up to punt. But it's just a shotgun formation for Tiernan. And he will punt it. Low liner, end over end. Hanover doesn't send anybody back. Smart play. And that's a pretty good punt. That's going to put Hanover back at about their own 27-yard line. So Tiernan lines up to punt that ball. He's basically in the shotgun, and you have to watch him. And I'm sure a lot of times he's got the green light to read it and go if he can So Hanover had the football. 58-36. They lead. They'll try to add to that here. And a touchdown here would really help their cause. Brunet in the gun. Single setback is Ringsdorf. Brunet's going to keep it, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage that time by a couple of Bulldogs. Brant Walters is one, Landon Lackey the other. Lackey a sophomore. Lot of underclassmen on this Bulldog team, including Jake Tiernan. Colin Graybass also a sophomore. Tiernan the junior. Denton sure a freshman. Brant Walters a senior, along with Fannin Steele. Bruno stands in the shotgun. Now drops the ball again. He's had some trouble with that. Now caught the backfield. He does take off. He's going to gain a couple. Boy, nice job by Andrew Bruno that time. He's had some trouble handling that snap. Now, cold. Quarterbacks don't normally wear gloves. And I'm sure that football feels like a rock. So third and six, he will pick up a couple. Actually, they'll give him about three. Third and six, balls at about Hanover's 32. Bruna in the gun. Ringsdorf to his right. Double split. Bruna just takes off. He's got enough for the first out across midfield to about the 35 of Osborne. They'll spot him at about the 36. First and 10, Hanover. No, right on the 35. Of Osborne, first and 10, Wildcats. Fifty-eight, thirty-six. What Hanover's looking for right here is 
take a little time off and punch one in. The lead is 22. Bruno will wait until he gets the five-second count. Now he's going to take off same play. Scrambling left, a little room for Andrew Bruno, forced out of bounds inside the 15 near the 10 of Osborne. And again, great blocking from these Hanover Wildcats. They've done it all night. Fritchie, Jade Bruna, Zabatrisky, and there's a flag down. I did not see it thrown. A personal foul face mask is going to be called on Osborne. I never saw the flag come in. So at the end of the play now, 15 yards will be tacked on. And they'll go half the distance. So first and goal at about the eight. Jaden Bruna, Zabatrisky, Fritchie. Great job of blocking. Ringsdorf as a lead blocker has been outstanding. Austin Diedrich up on that line. Bruna, he's going to take a right. Bulls his way across the five-yard line with 8.50 left. Second goal. They'll spot it right at the five. And the winner of this game plays for the state title next Saturday at Newton at 3.30. Hanover breaks huddle. In Bruner right now, just waiting for that back judge to start his countdown. Same play. Bruna up the middle, pulls his way in, and it's a Hanover touchdown. Eight fifteen left in the ball game, and Hanover has gone up sixty four thirty six, and they'll try to tack on two more. Ian Osborne has hung in there and fought and scrapped. And remember, Hanover allows 12 points a game. Under center, Bruna hands off rings door, falls forward, and he's in. Two-point conversion is good, and it's 66-36. Hanover with the lead. 8-15 left in the ballgame. We'll bring you back right after this. What the heck is a firewall? What's the difference between SD and HD TV? How much data should I have on my cell phone plan? How do I hook my tablet up to the internet? Where do all these cords for my new computer go? For answers to all your burning questions, look to your local telecommunications provider, Blue Valley Telecommunications, providing phone, internet, TV, cellular, and so much more. Now offering IT support and consulting for your business. When it's cold outside, a hot bowl of soup is calling your name. Landall Lanes has a different soup each day of the week, all day long until they run out. If you're craving a great salad, try their winter seasonal called the Black and Blue Salad. It's grilled sirloin, blue cheese crumbles with romaine lettuce and tomatoes. If you've never been to their restaurant, you may be surprised to see how large the seating area is. Definitely not your usual bowling alley. Landall Lanes in Marysville. Schuneman with the kick to Schur. This time he puts it down around the 10-yard line. Schur looks to get a little room, has it again. I'll tell you what, he's a tough runner. That's 140 pounds of tough. Gets it out across the 30. Onega now trails OB 20 to 14. That in the third. And Concordia has seen their season come to an end. 47-14 47 to 14 at the hands of Andale. Appreciate Gary Strait, Jeff Wirtz keeping us up with scores from around the area. 66 36 here. Hanover with the lead. Tiernan hands off around the end. 
That's going to go to gray bass around the end. He'll pick up like about eight, maybe nine. Goes out of bounds. So he'll pick up seven. It'll be second three, eight minutes left in the ball game. And we're up 30, 66, 36. Kiernan breaks huddle. He'll stay in the gun. Sure, the lone back set to his left. In motion, gray bass. Kiernan wants to throw. Launches one down the field. He's got a man. That's Brad Walters. That can't hang on to it. Good defense that time. Hunter Nicholson able to knock that ball out of his hand somehow. That's a great throw and catch. And even better defense by Hunter Nicholson. And Jake Kiernan really throws a nice ball. And he's a junior. One more year of high school for this quarterback, and he's one of the better ones. Kiernan breaks huddle, eye formation. Under center, here comes the rush from Hanover. They're sending the house, and ba-boom. <laughs> sure. Didn't sure. Just met Ethan Fritchie. And again, Fritchie, actually, that was Evan Zabatrisky. Let's get that, get that right. That's Zabatrisky. And he's going to lose about three, so fourth and five. And Hanover bringing the house that time. This time, Karen will empty the backfield shotgun. He wants to throw. Looking right, he's got a man. That is Gray Bass, and he's out of bounds. That's enough for a first. Colin Gray Bass, one of Tiernan's favorite targets tonight, and he's a sophomore. So you've got Tiernan, Gray Bass, sure. All coming back next year. 7.08 left in the ballgame, 66-36. Under center goes Tiernan. Drops back, wants to throw, pressure put on. Now he's forced out of the pocket, brought down. And that time he is brought down by Peyton, Peyton Prowley. 185-pound junior. Zavitrisky flushed him and Prowley there to clean it up. Spotted back at the original line of scrimmage, second 10. Down to 640 left in the ball game. Again, Axel saw their season come to an end tonight. Onega losing. Concordia losing to Hanover. Minneapolis losing to Halstead. After Tiernan in the gun, pressured again. Now flushed out to the right. Now he's got a little bit of room and going to be brought down after about a six yard gain by Evan Zabatrisky. <laughs> Ethan Fritchie out of the game. I don't. I think it's an equipment issue. I've been watching him over on the sidelines. But... Now Hanover giving a sideline warning. And I thought I thought Fritchie was hurt. That's why I was watching him because they had taken his helmet away. But I, I really think it's just an equipment issue for Fritchie and. Quite honestly, Prowley's doing a pretty good job in replacement. 5.57 left in the ball game, and now all start is going to be called on Osborne. So instead of third and five, now you've got third and ten. So ball moved back to the 35 of Hanover. And Tiernan will bring him back to the line of scrimmage. He'll stay gun. Wants to throw. Looking well. Wants to throw left. Nothing there. Now forced way back. Now he's black clear at the 30. Now launches one. And that's going to be picked off and out of bounds, though, by Adam Zardernicki. Dangerous throw by Jake Tiernan. Good rush put on by the Hanover Wildcats. And it's fourth and ten. (laughs) 
Kiernan getting the call from the sideline on his own. Huddles his team up. He'll break quickly and get to the line quickly. Fourth and ten. Ball at the 35 of Hanover. 5.39 left in the ball game. Kiernan under center. Pitch right. Now thrown back to Kiernan. And Hanover is not fooled at all. Ringsdorf. Sabatrisky and Prawley. That was a pitch right to Graybath, who then threw it back to Tiernan and three Hanover Wildcats, and Hanover will now take over in Osborne territory. A 10-yard loss, that is disciplined, sound defense by the Hanover Wildcats, and now Hanover in business at the Osborne 35, leading 66-36, 5.26 left in the game, and now Will Bruna comes in at quarterback, and he drops the ball. So Bruna's going to lose about five yards, just can't hang on to the ball. That was a little low that time as Will Bruna comes in cold. Andrew Bruno will get a little break with his 30-point lead. Five minutes left in the game. Will Bruno, sophomore, sets in the gun, brings the to his right. Gets the ball, rolls left. He's going to keep it. Has a little bit of an opening. Wow, what a run by Will Bruna. He's going to pick up about 12 yards. On that run, that'll get him down inside the Osborne 30 to about 27 to bring up third and about four. And Hanover just trying to keep the ball and run the clock. Bruno stands in the gun, watching the back judge. Now he starts his five count. Bruno's got to hurry, get the snap off, and they don't get it off, and Matt Hoyer has to call a timeout. Well, that is not going to make Coach Hoyer happy at all. 4.02 left in the ballgame, 66-36. Hanover with the lead. We'll be back right after this. Ron Juniman is the owner and operator of R.L. Juniman Construction of Hanover, and his expertise comes from many years of heavy equipment and dirt-moving experience. He really knows what he's doing. His work is amazingly accurate, wasting no time in getting your waterways, terraces, and ponds built, plus you'll clear trees. He has done work throughout the entire KCLY listening area, and his rates are reasonable. Call Ron Juniman at 747-6623. That's 747-6623. 4-2 left in the ball game. Hanover with the 66-36 lead. Timeout by Coach Matt Hoyer as Will Bruna into the game. And a little bit of confusion. As Bruna trying to pull things on. Direct snap to Bruna. Tries to go right. Nothing there. Reverses his field. He will get a couple nearly. Falls forward to the first. He's about a yard short. A couple short, I guess. We'll call it fourth and two. 345 left. And over will hold up fourth and a long one. Bruno will stand the shotgun. He's got Ringsdorf on his right. Juneman split left. Juneman split right. Nicholson left. Snap to Bruna. He is going to get the first somehow, nearly tackled in the backfield. But he's going to fall forward and should have the first down. Well, Bruna, pretty pretty good move. To, it's going to depend on the spot, I guess. Nope, it will be a first. So Hanover will have a new set of downs. But Grant Walter's really slow to get up. Pretty good collision, I think, between him and Bruna. Clock will start again. 
oil brew in a brake huddle and gets everybody set and looks at the back judge with 258. He's going to run this down as much as he can. Now gets a snap. Tries running left. Good block out there by Diedrich. Reverse this field. Now goes left again, and he's going to pick up eight, maybe nine. And that's Austin Diedrich with, again, a pretty darn good block. He is going to pick up eight yards. We'll call it second two. Two and a half left. And Jake Tiernan is going to come out of the game. Amazing player. Bruna to the line, gets the snap. He's going to run left, and he's going to be tackled, but not before he gets a first down. Nice tackle that time by Alex Worthman, a senior for Osborne. And a new set of downs for Hanover right at two minutes left in the ball game. So Hanover will move to 12-0. and Osborne will see their season come to an end at 10-2. Two losses to the same team. Bruna loses his footing, somehow gets it back, still on his feet, still falling forward. And what should have been about a one-yard gain turns into nine or ten. Looks like it's going to be about a nine-yard gain. And it is, second one. 105 left. Brent Walters will come out. Heck of a player. Senior will see his high school career come to a close. Down under a minute. Bruna holds, running all the time he can off the clock. And I think Hanover will just try to get a first down here. And now Osborne jumps off sides. So, Osborne will pick, or Hanover rather, will pick up the first, and clock will start, and Hanover should be able to just drop on this and be done with 30 seconds left. Snap to Bruna, and he's going to try to run it in, and does. So with 25 seconds left, Hanover scores again, and they lead 72 to 36. So now Hanover will line up and go for two. Will Bruna still in a quarterback? Three receivers right, one left. Bruna looking to throw, drops one in for a two-point conversion, and that's good. The two-point conversion pass from Will Bruna to Adam Fritchie, the sophomore, and it is 74 to 36. 25 seconds left. We're going to keep it right here as we get set for the final kickoff. Again, Hanover will advance. They'll move on to the 8th man Division I title game next Saturday in Newton. Kickoff time for that will be 3.30. Pony yet to be decided. Have not seen the 8th man Division I scores on the bottom of this bracket. And now... I believe we've got another timeout on the field. We'll go ahead and get a 30-second timeout as well and bring you back to Osborne for the finish right after this. 
Is your furnace as efficient as it should be? Make sure it is with a call to Hanover Electric. With highly qualified, experienced electricians and servicemen, Hanover Electric will sell and service heating and air conditioning units, plus they can do all types of plumbing work. They're the ones to call for residential, commercial, and industrial electrical work, and for plumbing, refrigerants, trenching, and backhoe work. Hanover Electric keeps everything running efficiently. They look forward to serving you. Back at Osborne, again, Hanover up 74-36, 25 seconds left. And thanks to our man in the field, Jeff Works. We know that Hanover will play Central Plains. They beat Nest City 32 to nothing tonight. Central Plains and Hanover will meet for the title game next Saturday in Newton. So now kicking off for Hanover, Adam Fritchie. High end over end floater. Brant Walters does receive it. Brant Walters with a chance to make a little noise trying to close out his career in style and a good return. Takes it all the way down to the 30 before being tackled by Ryan Meyer and Jesse Stowe. Meyer is senior, Stowe is a sophomore, so 16 seconds left. If Jake Tiernan will come on the field one more time. Again, he's a junior. Tiernan breaks huddle. He's going to go under center. Single back wants to throw. Has a man now pitched to Walters, and Osborne is going to score one more time. And it is Brant Walters on a little Statue of Liberty. <laughs> you don't see work very often. But work that time for Osborne, and Jake Kiernan over quickly with a hug for Brant Walters. And I tell you what, that's if you're going to lose a game, that's a good way for a senior to go out. So, Osborne's still playing. They're not going to go down easy. And now Walters just basically walks in for the two-point conversion. So 74-44. Osborne has tacked on eight more. And, I think more importantly in that series, Grant Walters is going to be able to end his senior career with a touchdown and two-point conversion and kind of a cool way to end it. 8.3 seconds. We'll just keep it right here for the finish. Again, Hanover will play Central Plain next Saturday at 3.30 in New Central Plains, the winner tonight over Nest City. 32 to nothing. Now Osborne will kick off one more time, and Hanover will send back Matthew White and Brennan Zabatrisky. Freshman and a junior for these Hanover Wildcats. 74-44, eight seconds left. Walters to kick off and boots one away and I mean launches one into the end zone of Hanover. So Hanover should be able to come out and take a knee and end this. 8.3 seconds left. They lead 74-44. Hanover huddles up. They'll keep Will Bruna in. Actually, they'll bring in that Will Bruna will go under center. He'll take a knee, and that'll do it. 
74-44, Hanover with the win. We'll take a 30-second timeout, wrap it up after this. Every major construction project uses concrete in one form or another. From residential driveways to basements, patios and curbs, Midwest Products make great use of their ready-mix concrete. They operate four state-approved plants in Hanover, Clay Center, Lynn and Washington to meet the needs of residential, commercial or farm-related projects. Livestock slats, feed bunks, landscape rock and more are all available from Midwest Products. Give them a call for all your jobs that require ready-mix concrete. 800-371-2252. Hanover wins it, 74-44. They are headed to the state title game next Saturday in Newton. They'll take on Central Plains. Central Plains, the winner tonight, 32 to nothing over S City. Also, Concordia falls tonight, 47-14 to Andale. Axel saw their season come to an end. Also, uh, Omega, last check, trailed Opie and Halstead. All over Minneapolis tonight, 66 to nothing. That's going to wrap up our coverage from Osborne. For our studio engineer tonight, Chase Elliott, and our men in the field, Gary Strait and Jeff Wirtz, appreciate all your help with the scores. KCOY Sports, I'm Phil Casper.